hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be filming the most exciting video that I film every single year without fail apart from last year and that is the Lush Christmas range for 2021 I cannot believe that the Christmas range is finally out I bought everything everything and <clears throat> Do I regret it? I don't know. I haven't smelled any of it. I have no idea what any of it smells like. The only things I didn't buy were the fragrances, so the body sprays and the perfume, because I just didn't feel like I needed it. I have about seven body sprays at the moment, don't need any more, and it was an additional like 50 to 60 pounds, which I didn't really want to spend, so I bought everything else. So I have a box here. Hang on. I don't even think I can lift this up. I'm not even joking. It's so heavy. Right. Mm, I have the box. It's absolutely ginormous it weighs probably as much as like two small children I'm not gonna lie and I'm gonna sit here and unbox it so without further ado grab yourselves a snack maybe two snacks this video might be quite long a drink a coffee um, a hot chocolate and yeah let's dive in I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching so I'm gonna be doing this in no particular order I am just gonna put my hand in the box pull something out and we're gonna go through it and and the good thing is Lush do give you this kind of leaflet thing with your order, well they did with me, where it has all the ingredients. So I'm going to be reading this, going through this. This is going to be a long video. Let's dive in. Okay. So the first thing I've picked out is a shower gel. Now I did buy all four shower gels in the small size, simply because I have a bit of a shower gel problem anyway. I didn't need to add to it. I didn't need more shower gel. I mainly bought these for the video, not gonna lie. So we're gonna go through them. I bought the minis. The first one is Yognog. Now, this shower gel is one of my all-time favourite shower gels. I love this scent so much. When they first brought the soap out years and years ago, I bought a lot of it. It was creamy, it was, oh, it was beautiful, and this is amazing. It basically smells like caramel, toffee, really sweet, really creamy. I love this so much. It's so good i cannot even describe to you how yummy this smells this year they have changed the formula a little bit so it has like a shimmer kind of all the way through which is really beautiful probably not enough to make you glittery when you're in the shower but definitely something really nice and festive to look at for sure and ingredients wise this one has a maple syrup water it also has carrageenan extract clove bud oil ylang ylang oil it's not spicy at all it literally smells like caramel like if I was kind of blindfolded, I would think it was caramel sauce. Like it's pure caramel sweet toffee amazingness. If you know anyone that has a sweet tooth and loves sweet scents, this is going to be so up their street. I highly recommend it. So good. Absolute fave. Love that. Next up, we have another shower gel and this is Snow Fairy. Now Snow Fairy is the Lush scent. I believe it's been out for about 16 years now. It's a absolute cult classic and I don't even want to know how much money they get from Snow Fairy alone each year because it's probably an obscene amount I'm not gonna lie to you but Snow Fairy is a beautiful scent however I have to be in the mood to want to use it it's very very sweet very very bubblegummy it's basically pure sugar it smells like pure sugar kind of like um rhubarb and custard sweets or like foam banana that's kind of what it smells like, even though it probably has no banana in it, but that is what it smells like. Pure, sweet sugar. And ingredients-wise, this one has lime oil and loads of other things. I have no idea what they are because that is what makes the sweet smell, so I couldn't even tell you what's in this, but it smells like bubble gum and it's amazing. Next up, we have Plum Duff shower gel now i have been informed this doesn't smell like plum rain which i am very very upset about because i love plum rain so much and then they discontinued it and i haven't found any more since and i was really hoping this would smell like plum rain because obviously it's called plum duff and it's purple so yeah kind of disappointed in that but i'm very excited to smell it let's have a smell that is so purple i don't know if you guys can see that it's so dark but it's such a deep purple color Ooh, that smells familiar. It's definitely a familiar scent from Lush. I've definitely smelled that before. It is a really nice fruity scent, but it's very subtle. <sighs> That's gonna annoy me because I've 100% smelled that before. Very subtle. If you like your fruity, kind of subtle smells, you will really, really like that because of how 
gentle and soft that one is. Really, really love that. Definitely a favourite for sure. Ingredients wise, this one has raisin infusion, which is really interesting. Cedarwood oil, tangerine oil, and benzoin resinoid. So yeah, really, really fun. Love this one. Really fruity, but definitely subtle at the same time. So yeah, if you like your fruity scents, you will really enjoy this one. And lastly, for the shower gels, we have Jolly. Now Jolly is one that I've been really looking forward to smelling because of the ingredients. This one has cinnamon stick and clove infusion. It also has clove bud oil, orange oil and tangerine oil and fresh orange juice. So I'm kind of picturing a nice spicy warm orange scent but we're going to give it a smell. Let's give it a go. That smells... Oh, bubble. That smells so good. Scent wise to me this smells kind of like an American-y orange bubblegum smell. It's really really good. I don't know how else to describe it but it smells amazing. It doesn't smell spicy at all but the spice kind of gives it that like bubblegummy smell. I don't know if I'm going crazy but that is what that smells like and that smells amazing and I might have to pick up a bigger bottle of this when I go shopping because that is so good and I can see myself using that up in like no time at all so I love that. Really really impressed with the shower gel range this year. 10 out of 10 lush. Good job. Next up we have the Snow Cake Shower Jelly Stack. Now I didn't realise this when I bought it but it actually is three individual scents which is so fun and different. So you have almond, toffee and cherry. I guess altogether it's supposed to have the same scent as Snow Cake but individually you have something for everyone which I love. This one is £11 and ingredients wise this one has maple syrup water, almond oil, cherry infusion, almond essential oil, divana oil, rose oil, sandalwood oil. I don't really know how they go about the ingredients obviously because they're each going to smell different but I'm just going to open it up and give it a smell anyway. That smells like pure almond. Kind of like, is it De Serrano? That alcoholic drink? I don't really drink alcohol very much, so I don't really know, but I think De Serrano smells like almond. But that smells really good. My mum would probably love that. I don't really want to pull it all out, but that smells so good. I don't know how many times I'm going to say so good in this video, but this smells incredible incredible personally i absolutely love the design idea with this having three different scents in one product because you're kind of getting three products in one which is great and you could leave this in your house for your family to share and there is a scent for everybody which i really love so yeah 10 out of 10 lush would have really recommend doing this more often especially for christmas and halloween and stuff i just love that idea and yeah amazing and it said it's marzipan toffee and cherry so love that. Next up moving on to lip scrubs. There were two to pick from this year. The first one is the Galaxy Lip Scrub. I do have this from a few years ago but this one was really really good and definitely a favourite of mine. So ingredients wise this has castor sugar, jojoba oil, shea butter, cold pressed raspberry seed oil, buchu oil and lemon myrtle oil and if I remember rightly it smells and tastes like blue raspberry but we're gonna give it a go. Oh, that smells amazing. Obviously, I'm gonna have to taste some because I can't help myself. Oh, yeah. So good. I absolutely love lip scrubs. I have far too many. I need to start using them more often. I might leave this one by my bedside table because oh, that's just so yummy. It tastes like blue raspberry slush puppies, like it's so sweet and amazing and I really, really love this one. So 10 out of 10, good choice lush. And the second one for this year is the Golden Pineapple Lip Scrub. Now this one is a brand new one for this year so I'm so excited to try it. And ingredients wise this has castor sugar, jojoba oil, shea butter, golden castor sugar, ginger absolute, yellow mandarin oil and lover true oil no idea what that is and pineapple obviously let's give it a smell i'm so excited okay let's go oh wait it it's like pineapple but not i'm gonna have to try some because i feel like it's gonna be hard to explain it okay 
like pineapple with like a spice. You can definitely taste the ginger, but it does taste good, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know whether I prefer the Galaxy though, I think I prefer the Galaxy one, but that one is really, really good, definitely a nice change. Obviously we've never had it before, so that is something really exciting, and if you like pineapple, you'll really like it, but it is a little bit spicy, so you know, depends on what floats your boat. The next item is a bath bomb and this is the Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. This is a beautiful dark blue bath bomb with three gold bath melts inside. Makes your skin incredibly soft but you will be covered in glitter. So if you don't like glitter, you won't like this one. Smell wise, this smells like honey I wash the kids. It's so sweet and creamy. It smells like honey, obviously, but it's so good. I love the smell of this. If you want something like this all year round, obviously you've got like the honey I washed my hair. We had the It's Raining Men and then it went to honey I washed... What was that other shower gel? It's Raining Men. Then it changed to something else. But it was the same smell. Honey I washed the kids shower gel? Can't remember. But this smells delish. If you love honey, you will love this. Ingredients wise, this one has Brazilian orange oil, bergamot oil, Co oh, creamed coconut and almond oil. It basically smells like honey though. So good. 10 out of 10 lush. Love that one. So yummy. Next up we have the golden pudding. Now I'm not going to lie to you, when Golden Wonder wasn't coming out, I was a little bit upset because Golden Wonder is one of those bath bombs that is so magical because of the blue in the middle and it makes the water this beautiful mermaid green. I was a little bit sad, I'm not going to lie. However, I'm hoping this one is blue in the middle. If it's not blue in the middle, maybe there'll be something in the middle that's really exciting. But this is the Golden Pudding and ingredients wise, this one has sweet wild orange oil, lime oil, wine lees oil, corn protein. Yeah, that's weird. <sighs> It just smells like Christmas. I could cry. This smells like lush Christmas to me. It's the Celebrate scent, so it's the same as Golden Wonder. But that is what that smells like. Pure Christmas. I love it so much. I could sit here and smell that all day. That is delish. Oh, so good. Next up, we have a repeat from last year, and that is the Snowman Dreaming Bath Bomb. Highly, highly underrated. It's a rainbow bath bomb that looks like a snowman. And this one has a very subtle scent. I can't remember if this is what it smelled like last year or not. It's like a little bit lavendery, a little bit vanillary. Is it neroli? I'm gonna have to check the ingredients. Hang on, I cannot remember what, what is in this one, to be honest. Ingredients wise, this one has cedarwood oil, lavender oil, water, cornstarch. It's a very subtle scent. So for anyone that has sensitive skin or children that have a younger age I suppose this would be brilliant because of the rainbow it's going to be super colourful but not overly strong in scent so I love that also if I remember correctly this one is not overly expensive either I believe it's about two pound or three pound yum love that lush good job next up we have the golden pear scrub now this is a very shimmery slightly squishy golden pear Smells like the soap from a few years ago. Kind of smells really spicy though. Smells really good. Very Christmassy, very wintry. Ingredients wise, this one has fine sea salt, cocoa butter, popping candy, capuchin butter, cream of tartar, jojoba oil, cardamom oil, coarse sea salt, pear powder, sandalwood oil and prickly pear oil. This one smells really beautiful. It's very Christmassy. Like it just smells like Christmas. If that's the best way to describe it, probably not, but that smells really, really good. I absolutely love that, but it is melting in my fingers, so I am going to have to put that down because I'm getting covered in pear. So let's just wipe that on the pyjamas. Lovely. The next item is a new bath bomb for this year, and that is the Orange Pop Bath Bomb. I absolutely love So White, and I completely forgot that So White wasn't on the list this year. Heartbroken, but hopefully this one is really good too. This one has Popping Candy, Sicilian Red Mandarin Oil, Tangerine Oil, Bergamot Oil, and Orange Oil. It smells like Bright Side. That's so yum. It smells like a really... Oh, it smells so good. It basically smells like you've just peeled an orange. That is what this smells like, like pure orange. Really beautiful, really fresh. Obviously there is that kind of 
tradition where you put an orange or a tangerine at the bottom of a stocking. I don't know if that's just a UK thing, let me know, but maybe that's where they got this from. But that smells incredible. It's a beautiful orange bath bomb, has a green leaf on it. Smells like orange. Yum. And I believe it has a red middle. I'm so excited to use it though. Delicious. The next bath bomb again is a new one for this year and this is the Snowball Bath Bomb. Now this is one that I have been so excited to smell because I've just heard a lot of good things. But ingredients wise this one has eucalyptus oil, lemongrass oil, peppermint oil, cream of tartar, water, blah 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 blah. Oh it smells... It smells like Outback mate, which is one of my favourite soaps. That smells incredible. So uplifting. Yum, 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 yum. I have heard also that these were hand pressed, but I'm not too sure how true that is or not. But that smells mouth watering. I'm salivating, it smells amazing. Yummy, and it's just a white ball. I'm hoping that there's some really pretty colors inside, but I have no idea, so I will let you guys know what I think of that one, but that one smells incredible. The next bath bomb is one of their assembled bath bombs, and this is the Santa's Magic Sleigh. Not gonna lie, I think I've done this wrong. No, I have done it right. The bear just doesn't fit, so he's in a little bit sideways, but I also believe that each of these smell different, so let's take it apart and smell them all. Okay, so the bear smells like butter bear. Love that, absolute classic fragrance. This one, Snow Fairy. I think. And then this one, it just smells good. Fruity, fresh, Ugh, all together, that smells amazing. And this a very, very strong fragrance. It's something that I could 100% smell out of the box. But that is beautiful. I believe this one is quite expensive because obviously it is three bath bombs in one. But I love that, especially for like a Christmas Eve box or for a Christmas gift. Oh, that smells absolutely incredible. Look at that. Beautiful. Lush is smashing it. Next up, we have the Candy Cane Bubble Bar. She has had a little bit of a makeover this year. She's gone from red to pink and white, which confuses me because last year or the year before, I think it smelled like Snow Fairy and it was red and white. So I feel like this would have smelled like Snow Fairy. But this year... It's basically a candy cane smell, which is what we've all been waiting for this entire time. She smells like a candy cane. And ingredients wise, she has got cream of tartar, lemon oil, bergamot oil, and peppermint oil. So good. So, so good. <sighs> That's amazing. I don't know how I feel about the colour. I kind of wish it was red and white, but I'm happy with the smell. So, you know, we're half there, Lush. Lush is slowly but surely making that the perfect bubble bar for Christmas. Next up we have a soap. This is the Polar Bear Soap. How cute is that? Smells like snow cake. Thought it was gonna smell like butter bear. I am wrong. Smells like snow cake, smells amazing. Ingredients wise, this one has cocoa butter, coconut oil, castor oil, soya yogurt, benzoin resinoid, almond oil and rose. It's so good. It smells like snow cake, so it basically smells like marzipan, which I hate marzipan, but I love the smell. And he's so cute. Yum! Love that so much. I'm getting pins and needles. <laughs> Next up is another new item for this year, and I do believe this is a new fragrance for Lush in general, and this is the Silver Bells Shower Bomb. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not overly obsessed with shower bombs. I don't really get on with them that well, but I know that my mum loves them, but this is Silver Bells. It's a beautiful blue color with loads and loads of silver luster on it. See, now I'm a bit disappointed because that smells familiar. It's got a very, like, grandma's bathroom kind of smell. Really good, very glittery. Gonna put it down now because I'm gonna get glitter absolutely everywhere. Like, that is incredibly, incredibly sparkly. Gonna wipe that on the pyjamas, though, so that's fine. Ingredients-wise, this one has neroli oil, clove bud oil, sage oil. It's very 
just clean and it does smell like a grandma, like grandma soap. Do you know what I mean? Like if you went to your grandma's bathroom, that's what it smells like. Really nice, really comforting, but it's got a very floral fragrance to it. But love the smell, very nice. Not too keen on the shower bombs, but maybe that one will change my mind. I have no idea. Next up, we have another bath bomb. This is the Hey Hollywood bath bomb. I originally thought this was gonna smell like Holly Go Lightly, and I kind of wish it did, but by looking at the sheet, I know it's not gonna smell like it, so I'm a little bit disappointed, but this one smells really good. This one smells like maple soap. Oh, I loved maple soap. That is kind of what I want this to smell like, but that's not what this smells like, if that makes sense. But Maypole, such a good soap. Ingredients wise, this one basically just has peppermint oil in it, as well as obviously like citric acid, cornstarch, and that kind of thing. But it's very pepperminty, very, very nice. But it has got a creamy, sweet smell to it as well. Love that. Definitely not disappointed, love that smell. The next bath bomb is one from last year which I never actually bought myself and that is the Jingle Bells bath bomb. This one is beautiful, it looks like a little present, it has a bow on the top and it smells like Avo Bath and Dragon's Egg, very very lemongrassy. Ingredients wise, this one has coarse sea salt, rice starch, lemon myrtle oil, ylang ylang oil, grapefruit oil. There is no lemongrass in it which I'm really surprised at but Maybe that's the lemon myrtle oil and the grapefruit, but it smells really good. If you like sweet scents, you'll be obsessed. Sweet citrus. I'm starting to lose it, there's too many smells going on, but that, delicious. The next bath bomb is one which, when I saw it, I was instantly obsessed with it, because you guys know I love Disney, I love Lush, You Shall Go to the Ball is a combination of the two. Obsessed with it. That went up my nose. Scent wise, a little bit disappointed, not gonna lie. I was excited because it's gonna smell like strawberry. Doesn't really smell like strawberry. It d mm, I'm not 100%. Let's read the ingredients and see what's inside. So this one has Sicilian lemon oil, Tonka Absolute, soya bean flour, water. There is no strawberry in it, which is confusing because it says a sweet strawberry transformation, which I don't really understand where it's supposed to be strawberry. It is a really sweet smell. Do I love it? No. Do I hate it? No. I would say it's just average, but it looks pretty, so can't complain. The next item is one which I was very incredibly excited about because I heard that this smelled like hot toddy and hot toddy was I think the first Christmas at Lush for me so the smell of this is going to bring back so many nostalgic memories I can't wait to smell it but this is the cinnamon roll bubble bar here we go oh my god this basically just smells like big red chewing gum if you're from America which is basically a cinnamon chewing gum that's what this smells like heavenly delicious spicy festive oh it's so good and again it's a very similar shape i actually have two here because my mum ordered one too but it's a very similar shape and size to the comforter so you could probably get four to six baths out of that oh it's so good 10 out of 10 lash you have done me proud that smells amazing next up we have another soap and this is the baked alaska soap i really really love the new design of this when i worked there a few years ago it was round and it was a really awkward shape i don't really know why lush i mean i know where they did shaped soaps it looked amazing but when you've got like an edge piece it was just hard to use whereas this you get a beautiful slice like look at that oh it's so nice absolutely stunning Smells delish. Smells like lemon, citrus, sour. Oh, it's so amazing. Such a summery scent. Not gonna lie, very summery, but smells incredible. Ingredients wise, this one has rapeseed oil, coconut oil, soya milk, popping candy, which I never knew was in here, lemon myrtle oil, ylang ylang oil, grapefruit oil, and gardenia extract. Just smells bloody amazing. Mmm. Yum, love that. The third soap for this year is one which my mum bought, I didn't buy, and I think I might have to pick some up when I go shopping on Monday because I'm looking at this now thinking I should have bought it, and that is the Snow Fairy soap. Look how stunning this is. It says Snow Fairy on the sides. I don't know if you guys can see. So cute. And it just smells like Snow Fairy. Sweet bubblegum, sugar, 
amazingness and ingredients wise this one has rose water rapeseed oil coconut oil glycerin it also has rice bran oil parisian lime oil aloe vera gel yummy yum yum just smells amazing for any of you guys that love sweet bubblegum smells you will love this 10 out of 10 just buy it thank me later you are welcome the next item is the christmas facial cleanser this is called lemonade and i just had to buy it because obviously you guys know i've been really enjoying my fresh and flowers boxes absolutely loving it it's really helping me to just use my skincare a lot more and i really really appreciate it a lot more but this is the lemonade cinnamon cinnamon <laughs> I was going to say cinnamon roll, it's not, it's a cleanser roll, but yeah. It has a very light smell. Almost, it's got a subtle lemon smell, but very, very subtle. I'm not going to unwrap it because I don't want to make a complete mess of it, but ingredients wise, this one has ground almonds, glycerin, fresh carrot, which is very exciting, fresh lemon zest, cocoa butter, Sicilian lemon oil, and lemon peel. Smells amazing, it looks amazing. It looks very, very similar texture-wise to Angels and Best Skin. So if you like that, you'll really like this. And I need to use this by the 22nd of December. So I will be just before Christmas. Love that. The next item we have is the Snow Fairy Body Conditioner. Now I actually did order one solid, one liquid. But they've sent me two solids, which I'm not mad about because I will still get my use out of it. But I wanted to show you both. But never mind, we have both of these. Obviously one comes in a normal potted form, but it has the same ingredients. It works in a very similar way. This one you just rub onto the skin, the other one you scoop and use. But ingredients wise, this one has cocoa butter, shea butter, almond oil, lime oil, and arrowroot powder, avocado butter, mango butter, and cherry juice. Smells like Snow Fairy. Smells like bubble gum. Looks like a top hat when you hold it upside down. But it's beautiful and you literally just take it in the shower, rub it on the skin and it moisturises the skin. And I really like that and as you can see my hands are melting but my hands are melting? No. It's melting my hands. Smells delish. The next item is the Snow Fairy Lights Bath Bomb. This is one of those amazing big bath bombs where you take the lid off. It has little confetti bits inside. You put the lid back on. You can use it in one. You can use it in three. Obviously it smells like Snow Fairy, really strong, in your face, bubblegum smell. I love this one and ingredients wise, very similar to the rest of the Snow Fairy range. It's lime oil, cream of tartar, icing sugar, marshmallow root powder. It just basically smells like bubblegum, pure bubblegum sweetness and I love it. The more I smell Snow Fairy, the more I really, really love it. So it is one of those things that like you do start to love but it's beautiful. Next up, we have another shower bomb. This is the Rudolph nose shower bomb. Obviously, it's supposed to look like Rudolph's nose. This one has a very spicy, creamy kind of smell. Ingredients wise, this one has Howard oil, lemon oil, almond essential oil. It's supposed to have a very cherry-like smell, which personally, I don't really see. It kind of smells like talcum powder to me, but it is really good though. Very relaxing, very calming, beautiful. Christmassy Rudolph shower bomb. Yummy. The next item is another Snow Fairy item and this is the Snow Fairy Roll Bubble Bar. You probably get about four to six uses out of this. You crumble it under the water and you get some amazing pink bubbles. Ingredients wise, again, same as the rest. It makes it smell like bubble gum, sweets, and it's just beautiful and just absolutely stunning. And it just smells amazing. 10 out of 10. Oh, so great. So if you like your Snow Fairy, you guys are kitted up this year for Snow Fairy because there is a lot that smells like Snow Fairy this year. Next is another bath bomb. This is the I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas bath bomb. This is one of the bath bombs I bought last year. Smells like Space Girl. One of my all-time favourite bath bombs because it was the first bath bomb I ever got from Lush when I was really, really young. And it just brings back so many memories. And I absolutely love this one. And it's really affordable. I believe it's only $2.95, which is a bargain. This one, ingredients wise, has a popping candy, grapefruit oil, bergamot oil, almond oil, raspberry seed oil. And it's just amazing. But it basically smells kind of like Parma violets to me. So good. Yum. Love that. Another Snow Fairy item. Again, we have the Snow Fairy bath bomb. Ingredients wise, I won't bore you, but it's all the same again. Smells like bubble gum but I absolutely love the design I love this beautiful blue color it's so lovely and sparkly but it just smells heavenly 
bubblegum, sweet. I can't remember what's inside of this one. I imagine it just goes pink, but I could be completely wrong. But that's that one. It smells delish. The next item is a bubble bar bath melt in one, and this is the North Pole Bubble Bar Melt Combo. It smells delish. It smells very clovey, very spicy. A little bit fruity but also subtle does that make any sense ingredients wise this one has cocoa butter orange oil clove bud oil cassia oil divana oil so it is very spicy definitely a christmas scent but it's not overpoweringly like christmas does that make sense but it does smell really good love that and he's cute so 10 out of 10 lush for making a cute bubble bar for sure next up another bath bomb is the sleepy bear bath bomb this one is so cute obviously smells like sleepy which is why i had to buy it you guys know i love sleepy it's one of my favorite smells it's lavender vanilla it's basically the smell of twilight i absolutely love it and this is a cute little sleeping bear with some lavender on top so cute and again this is one of the more sort of least expensive ones so brilliant for children brilliant for gifts and it's come smelling his bum but Smells amazing, so definite favourite of mine for sure. And last but not least is the pink Butter Bear Bath Bomb. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but she is pink compared to like the background. I don't know if you guys can see. She's a very, very pastel pink this year. Same smell, same ingredients, same sort of kind of benefits as Butterball, but she's just got a little bit of colour this time, and I absolutely love it. In my opinion, this one is really, really good for children with sensitive skin, adults with sensitive skin, somebody who just wants a bath bomb that's not overly complex or complicated or harsh on the skin. So cute, and it's like he's waving. Love it. So that is everything for the Lush Christmas range for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I bought everything pretty much just to show you guys in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, don't forget to let me know down below what you're going to be picking up from the range. I would love to know down below and I always reply. So if you haven't let me know, let me know. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. We are on our way to nine and a half thousand, which is incredible. So if you haven't subscribed, I would love it so, so much and I would really appreciate it. So that being said, that is everything for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.